What's happening, people? Low here. Age year 26650 hybrid rebuildable tank atomizer by the Viking Mods. Same group where Dark Ronin, Kisaru Mods, Radical Innovation, Cream Steam. Uh, what else did I forget? Fisherman's mods, they're all in the same group. <clears throat> but this time, instead of uh, from this assembly to assembly, we will gonna do it the opposite way, since I still have juice in there. Okay? So, it is a copper 26650 hybrid rebuildable tank. Top side brass firing button and the switch casing is detachable as well as the bottom cap. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this bad boy so you can see. M and KE as the only battery available here in my BNM brick and mortar the tube and the switch assembly now how to disassemble this pay attention on the drip tip opening there's four indents that is how you going to disassemble the tank okay you won't or you will not waste any juice by taking the tap cap off because the whole thing will come off okay I'll show you get a flathead screwdriver that will fit on that indent I don't have a flathead that wide so I'm gonna use this and insert about half an inch till it catches the indent so just basically turn it upside down and counterclockwise unscrew it. Voila. There's go there goes the deck. As you can see the juice is still in there. The chamber, which is domed for enhanced flavor, which it really is flavorful on this build. And that's the deck. I have a dual coil build in there. That's the air hole. It's kind of raised up, cyclope style. The juice channel. And the airflow control ring is this one. The airflow is selectable. You can uh, select dual coil. You can adjust the tight of the drag too. And you can do single coil as well. We'll get to it as the demonstration goes by. Okay. First two builds I had a leaking issue. The reason is I was told that when you build make sure you stuff cotton on the juice channel right there because that channel is rather big okay so just block just the tip or until half of that juice channel with a cotton ever since I did that I didn't have any more leaking issue okay I'm not gonna tear apart my build because it's it's a normal dual coil and remember it's a hybrid so there's no way you can uh, check the resistance of the build using the ohm checker I'll show you how to check it with the multi-tester okay so leaking issue if you have a leaking issue you have to take it apart 
okay how to do that like this unscrew the copper positive contact Pull it out. I know you guys are laughing already. I got a humongous flathead screwdriver here. And there's go there goes the Delrin or I mean the pit insulator. You gotta un unscrew that as well. Counterclockwise. Oh, this time I have to use my nail file. If I can find it, if I can find it, oh, I should have been prepared. I'm sorry, guys. There, because this will go inside the uh, peak insulator and kind of push it, put a pressure on it, so that way you don't screw up the uh, you know mess up the uh, peak insulator there as you can see Be careful on uh, unscrewing the uh, base, people, especially the, the peak insulator. You don't want it messed up. There it is. There goes the airflow, two cyclops style. It's like the uh, Dark Ronin's Geyser airflow system on this one. And here's the uh, airflow control ring C3 dual coil single coil and it's still wet so I might have another leaking issue but it's not really getting out of the uh, switch assembly yeah see it's dry yep it's dry okay so that's how you're gonna disassemble it let's just clean this real quick That's how you're gonna assemble it if you have uh, if you experience leaking issue. Also, this is one of a kind uh, switch. As you can see, it is kind of angled or elbowed, like a C shape, and the way it makes contact to the pin is like that. So the whole the whole thing I'll show you if you can see it where the hell are you there there see that so you have to press it in the middle you can't press it on the side on both ends uh -uh. you have to press it exactly in the middle that's how it makes contact with a copper positive okay so let's put it back together and here is the marking or the uh, indicator of where you will 
point the dot for the airflow single airflow dot in the front and none in the back there's the other indicator so dual airflow dot in the indicator in the back and dot and indicator in the front so that's dual airflow okay I'm gonna set it to dual airflow since I have a dual coil build now putting it back is pretty straightforward you just have to align this uh, you see that both side it has a straight kind of uh, uh, machining that will go here so it won't twist or it won't spin around okay there put the uh, peak insulator in first and then don't over tighten it otherwise you won't be able to move your AFC control ring or AFC selector same with the uh, positive contact pin don't over tighten it there you have it I have a completely assembled the hybrid part of the uh, a tank part of the uh, mod now let's get the uh, resistance of the build so here's how get a multi tester set it on the uh, ohm selector at 200 dot 200 okay number is one way to do it your positive and negative lead just the tip put them together and wait till the fluctuation till the fluctuation of the number stops and don't forget to write it down so that's point 0.9, point 0.9, point 0.8, so that's point 0.8, okay? Now, negative lead to your negative pole, and positive lead to your positive pole. So what's that? Is that 1.5? 1.2? 1.1? So 1.1 and then subtract the uh, point 0.9 earlier. That, oh, point 0.1. 1 ohm. So subtract the point 0.9 earlier. So your atomizer resistance or your build resistance is point 0.1. Okay, dual coil, that's pretty low, that's pretty low, I don't think it is, because uh, maybe a 0.18 or 0.19 I should say, because it's a 26 gauge omega wire, and since it, it only reads by uh, tens, we can't really, 0.8, 0.9, one point one yep one point one so the build is point two ohm let's let's put this together <clears throat> also any battery you use will accommodate by this uh, mod because you have you're gonna just have to adjust it on the bottom cap
Ooh. Okay, point two ohm build. Now let me show you <coughs> show you how to this to uh, assemble it or put it together. This is how you're gonna refill the juice as well. Because uh, before I tried re uh, refilling the juice on the top fill, but that was my build without the tail on the uh, on the uh, juice channel, so it leaks. And then when I had this build, I haven't tried top filling it, so we'll see about that. For now, I just want to make sure I won't have a leaking issue, so I'll uh, fill it like this. I'll fill it directly to the tank. Just gonna have to angle it, make sure nothing goes in the chamber. Otherwise, you're gonna waste the juice. There you have it, that's it for now. You saw me how I disassembled it, and this time we're gonna be putting it together or assemble it just like how we disassemble it like that too many assembly just when you uh, assemble it this time you don't have to use the uh, huge screwdriver just like that you have an almost Tank full. And we're not gonna end this video without without showing off how you are able to cloud chase on a Kfun style tank. Like I said when I posted a video, it's like an orchid on steroids. Let's vape away. Yummy, yum, yum. <clears throat> I can go on and on and on and on again on this tank but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to hurt myself by getting nicked out all right it's a six milligram juice point two ohm build <clears throat> let me show you how much charge I have on this battery
I have a 3.6 charge so that's pretty low battery all right hope you guys like it stay tuned for my uh, pre-order list I'm gonna be posting it tonight it's only gonna be 50 spots available so get on it and it's not gonna be cheap okay thank you for watching once again this is low with the a gear 26650 hybrid removable tank <clears throat> atomizer and mod by the viking mods philippines under nose adroit creations corporations peace out